Hello everyone, my name is Reem and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are making my Diwali outfit from my mom's sari. Now this sari is giving me such a Cinderella vibe due to the color. So I thought a flow line gown would be perfect for this one. अगर आपको ये वीडियो हिंदी में समझना हो तो प्लीज सबटाइटल ऑप्शन में जाके हिंदी लैंग्वेज को सिलेक्ट कर लीजिए इससे आपको हिंदी में सबटाइटल्स आ जाएंगे सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स बिगिन सो वेरी लास्ट मिनट आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक माय सेल्फ माय दिवाली आउटफिट फ्रॉम माय मॉम साड़ी एंड फॉर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रेज दिस गाउन व्हिच फिट्स मी अ लिटिल वेल आई मीन इट्स नॉट बॉडी फिटिंग बट इट फिट्स मी On the paper, I am tracing the front of the top completely. And for the back, I am going to mark eight inches and connect it with the shoulder. I hope you make it more neatly than I made it, at least. adding 1.5 inches extra on the side so it can also fit my mom if she want to wear it as well place the pattern on the folded lining fabric trace it down cut it by adding half inch of seam allowance now for the back Cut out the back circle and similarly to the front place on the lining fabric and cut it out Now for this main fabric which is from sari I really hated the way the pallu look it has too much of detailing and i really don't like the shade of pink which is there i'm going to trace it on this side which has less detail than this one pinning my lining fabric front and back on the saree cut it out accordingly piecing right sides together close down the neckline and similarly do it for the front as well after that make small cuts all over the cow for both front and back and turn it right side out like so for both front and back close down the sides with a straight stitch and hem the neckline with a top stitch and similarly do it for the back from the center measure 3.5 inches and decide the length of the dart mark half of inch on each side and connect it to the top Trace it on the other side as well. Similarly, do it for the back. Just keep in mind that the back dart will be one inch longer than the front one. So here is when I realized I need to shorten the length of my top because it was too big on me, and I decided to reduce two inches. and then redraw the dots accordingly and trace it on the back as well cut out the excess from both and close on the dots in place now let's make the bottom skirt With the help of a fork, we are going to make pleated skirt. Put the fabric in the last part, and then roll it, pin it in place, and continue doing so 
I used this very much same technique in my last video in which I explain more clearly which I will link here or in the description box below. Make sure you roll all your pleats in the same direction. It should be the same size as the bottom of your top with a little extra on the sides. And cut it out. Secure the pleats in place. As you do that, facing them right sides together, pin it and then secure it with a straight stitch. Now for the lining skirts front and back, I am going to take 2.5 meter of fabric on fold and then fold it again in place. So you will have 4 fold fabric. Place your top pattern. Mark it on the folded side. From that marking, mark the length of your skirt all over till here. And then connect this corner with the marking. Cut it out. I am going to reuse this part in the skirt back by just flipping it like so. This will help me to have few more inches in my lining skirt. And do it on the other side as well. This is what it should look like after you put it together. Now for adding the can can, place it on your lining fabric, mark the length Now we are going to attach the can can on this line Making small pleats, pin it down to the skirt I am just taking random size of pleats because I was really in a hurry to complete this outfit. Once you reach the end, cut out the excess. Secure the pleats in place with a straight stitch. And keeping the can can side upwards, attach it here. Like so. Once that is done, similarly create the back as well. As both your parts are ready, placing them right sides together. Pin down the shoulders and secure it with a straight stitch. So the reason you are seeing a sleeves here because I did decided to add sleeves in my outfit but it turned out very bad and I hated the way it looked. And then I decided to keep it sleeveless. Now facing right sides together, pin the sides down. I am keeping the lining and the main skirt separate. But if you want, you can attach it all together. Close down the lining skirt, then the can can. And the outer skirt too. Similarly, do it on the other side too. Now for hemming the bottom of the lining fabric, double fold it and close it with a straight stitch. And for the main fabric, it really didn't need to be hemmed because it already had this pink color cute border in it, in my case. 
आई एम सो सॉरी आई फॉर्गॉट टू शूट द स्लीव हेम पार्ट बट ऑल आई डिड वॉज एट वन इन स्ट्रिप फोल्ड इट ट्वाइस एंड देन टॉप स्टिच इट डाउन Lastly for making the latkans I am going to use this last part of the saree cut it in one inch strip fold it right sides together and close it down turn it right side out cut four square pieces of 2 inches facing them right sides together close down three sides of it Similarly close down this one as well and turn it right side out like so stuff it with small small leftover pieces of fabric fold a little inside place the dori and close it down similarly do it for the other one as well I created this the same way and added motifs in between. Hand stitch it to the remaining latkan part so it is a one single piece. Attach it to the back of the dress like so. And you're done. transformation it turned out so pretty now i know the video was all over the place and i'm really sorry for that but i still hope you like the transformation and found it helpful and also learn from my mistakes well i really wanted sleeves like long sleeves with a bell around it but it was looking very weird to me so i skipped the process and made it sleeveless So eventually I was going to make two outfit one for me and one for my mom so we would be a little matching matching but I realized it very later that that is not possible like two gown from one single saree that is literally not possible so I just made one but they, this is adjustable okay it has space at the side so so if my mom want to wear it she just needs to open the fitting and she would be good to go and the second thing which is a really important tip i would like to give you that would be add your can can to the skirt in the very end like literally very end of the transformation because stitching with can can is so hard specifically so hard i was literally struggling to close the side seam because of the can can and trust me it was not the easiest process so i hope you learn from my mistakes and avoid repeating them And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel for lots, lots, lots more fashion transformation. And also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account. And I will see you in my next one. Until then, dream. Bye.